Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Monday morning meditation. Happy Thanksgiving week. So happy to be here with you. It's so an exciting week ahead or not, depending on <laughs> what your plans are. But regardless, it's a week where so many people will be gathering. Maybe you will be gathering together with friends or family. And um, sometimes that can be wonderful and, and such a great togetherness time. And sometimes that can be a difficult time. So, um, but regardless, many, many people across the country are thinking about gratitude and perhaps people tuned in to what's happening <laughs> in our country are thinking about gratitude this week also. But we're going to focus on preparing our Thanksgiving day to um, be as uplifted as possible with our hearts as open as possible. And uh, before we get started, I wanted to share too that um, next Monday we will start our annual seven steps for releasing the year. <clears throat> this is a process I learned by from my mentor, Jane Elizabeth Hart of Center for Enlightenment. My goodness, um, the seven steps process I have been doing for over 30 years, many, many, many times on many different things. I've probably have shared about it before, <clears throat> but releasing the year is something that um, you know people who have been studying with her over the last several decades um, have been doing this process at the end of the year every year. We release the year. We use that seven steps process and I will leave a link for that in the recording on YouTube. Um, we release all the good things about the year. We release all the difficulties about the year. We release all those New Year's resolutions or hopes and dreams from the year that maybe were accomplished and we release them with gratitude that they were accomplished. Or maybe we, we release them just as a disappointment where we accomplished it and it wasn't what we thought it was. Or maybe we're releasing it as, you know, this is something that I wanted and I still want and I'm going to let it go into the new year. Or maybe this is something that I thought I wanted in January and now it's December and I obviously didn't want it that badly because I did not make it happen. <laughs> so I'm going to just let it go. It wasn't that as, as important to me um, as to who I am now as it was who I thought I was back in December of last year. So um, I invite you also to join the Center for Enlightenment, my mentors organization. It's a spiritual education organization, Center for Enlightenment. Um, and next Sunday begins the class on seven steps for releasing the year. So if you wanna go into that more deeply, then please join that Sunday class at 11 o'clock. You can see the recording too, but there's something special about um, just like in our Monday morning meditations where we're together, we have the energy together. We're all here for one purpose every week. Um, the Sunday classes are like that too, where live, where the recording is fine, awesome. No matter what, it's a good thing. And having that experience of other people on the same page is very powerful. If you'd like to be on that email list, you can go to centerforenlightenment.com and just sign up on the, the, the list there and you'll receive the course inv invitation each week for that class and the journaling questions and all of that. And if that's not your thing, we're gonna do it here, right here on Monday. We're gonna recap Sunday's lesson in, you know, five minutes or less and work with those journaling questions through the week so that we're writing down what we're releasing from the year so that when we get to the end of the year and that last release meditation, we are letting it all go and um, clearing our space so that we release or we embrace the new year. And so anyway, that's, that's what's happening. But back to Thanksgiving week. Ah, and if you are noticing this time of year seems to get so 
pressured and fast. And my spiritual education has always been that there's a big energy push at the end of the year for us to complete whatever we need to complete, to let go of whatever we need to let go of so that we're moving into that new year in a new space, in the space that we were meant to be. And Thanksgiving week is an accelerated time for that energy as well. We get pushed a little perhaps with the people that will be around. We get pushed with the mounting to-do list for the holidays. And being in gratitude just helps us remember what it's really about. It's not about making the perfect sweet potato casserole or having the perfect thing to wear or white knuckling our way around people we may not want to be around or wanting that approval from the people we do want to be around. It's not about any of that. I'm sure there's your own flavor of whatever this week, this holiday means to you. Maybe it's just a peaceful time in your experience. So we tap into that today as well. As we get comfortable in our chairs and take a couple of deep breaths to relax the body. We're just gonna focus on the body right now. As you breathe in, just feel that breath moving up through your toes and feet, into your legs, and breathe out everything else. And the next breath comes in through your bottom in the chair, all the way up your torso and upper back and chest. and everything else out. The next breath comes in through the fingertips, through the hands and arms, up through the shoulders, and again, the neck. And one more, all the way up from the toes to the top of the head. Everything else out. Now we put our attention on the breath coming in and out, just gently, naturally through the belly. We just tell the mind right now, peace, be still. Peace. Peace. Peace.
I invite you to find your center, wherever you feel that most today in your body. Give your mind a focus as you're gently being aware of your breath as well. When we're opening up to gratitude, it's helpful to start with ourselves first. We can be so hard on ourselves. Even when it looks like we're being hard on others, that comes first from being hard on ourselves. So as we find that center, that center of where we feel most peaceful, calm, Maybe you feel it all over. Maybe you feel it in your bottom in the chair or in your heart center. Whatever that is, we just let, let our attention be there. We say thank you. Thank you for this center. Thank you for this peace. Thank you for this ability to be aware of what's happening inside. And feel that love that is a byproduct of gratitude. Or maybe gratitude is a byproduct of love. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Feel that love and gratitude in your center, magnifying that peace. And let that love, gratitude, and peace fill your whole body and all the space around you. We extend our gratitude to those people, places, 
things, situations in our lives that we feel grateful for, whatever they are. Just let a few of them come into this bubble of peace and love and gratitude. We're grateful for our family. Even if there is a family member, members <laughs> who challenge us. We're grateful for that opportunity to learn more about ourselves, to the opportunity to forgive and release and let go and move beyond. Opinions and past whatever's <laughs> We're grateful for our homes. Our communities. Our friends. We're grateful for our teachers, formal and informal. Our teachers on the outside, our teachers on the inside.
We're grateful for all the people who work to sustain our communities. I think we are all so tired of perpetuating the facade of some sort of arbitrary ideal we all try to live up to. So we just, in this gratitude and love and peace, we just give everyone in our world permission to let that go, including ourselves. And just love. With compassion and understanding Forgiveness. We give thanks. We say thank you to our the leaders of our country and all countries. No matter what we think in our brains about those leaders, we give thanks for their courage at stepping into those positions and doing their best to work towards the highest good of all concern, however they have defined that, whatever we think about that. And in this unconditional, compassionate place of gratitude, we also pray for illumination for all of humanity. We hold this light and energy of gratitude for our entire planet. For all the rocks and minerals and plants, animals and creatures. All people.
Now we bring that bubble of gratitude to our own Thanksgiving day. However you are spending it, if you are just enjoying a quiet day to yourself, let this energy of gratitude fill your home. Okay, we're projecting, <laughs> projecting ourselves to Thursday. Filling that day with light and love and joy. And if you're gathering with others, see them all with you. If you're gathering somewhere you've never been before, it doesn't matter. Just feel that space without the detail. Feel the love the light, the gratitude. And we bring that attention back to our center. That love and light and gratitude and joy will be waiting us. On Thursday, we'll wake up to it. In the meantime, between now and Thursday, we bring ourselves back to gratitude. And gratitude above and beyond just the everyday things that we're doing. We bring ourselves back to gratitude beyond our tasks, beyond our preparation. The gratitude is more important than perfect preparation. So we let that outer measuring stick go and focus on that inner one of just bringing love and gratitude to every apple we peel, every sweet potato we cook, every turkey we baste. every face we see, even the one in the mirror, especially the one in the mirror. And 
And if you can spend more time in this space of gratitude and peace, I invite you to do so. If you need to go on about your day, then feel that love, joy, gratitude, peace in every cell of your body right now. Every cell of your body is shining with this energy of gratitude. Breathe into it and tap into it every as many moments during the day as you can, every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're transitioning out of our meditation time, take a few deep breaths to just feel your body in your chair and the space around you. Thank you for spending this time with me today preparing for Thanksgiving. And I look forward to starting the seven steps process with you next week, hopefully on Sunday. If you feel so moved to join our group on Sunday, doing what we've been doing for many, many years. There's such an energy built up around it to support that release process. And otherwise, I will see you for sure on Monday next week where we will start. We're actually starting with disappointments and difficulties. So I will include all of that in the recording link. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I am very grateful for you. Thank you for being here with me. Bye-bye for now.